Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and if you're new around here welcome aboard and as the title suggests we're doing a review this week and it's not just any review we're reviewing this the Bluetti EB3A now the very kind people at Bluetti have sent me this to review so thank you guys I can't thank you enough this will be absolutely fantastic for our channel because if for the people that actually watch our channel you'll know that we do a lot of wild camping in this van I'm sat in and this will be one great addition well, to our setup for what we use because we don't rely on mains power we generally rely on solar and the batteries but let's get this out of the box and let's take a look at it the one good thing I do like about this power bank is the charger for it now the mains charger as you can see is your standard plug what you'd use on a kettle, a computer, anything like that so whereas other power banks and your other appliances You'll have all these different adapters, is it this one with this box on? It's all done inside it, so you lose the cable, these are readily available. It also comes with the cable to attach a solar panel, comes with that in the box. Now it doesn't come with the car charger, that is separate, I think it's £19 I think it is. Um, also in the box is the instruction manual, it tells you all the uh, details about it, operating it, if you should get a fault or anything like that. But this is the unit itself, and that is the Bluetti. EB3A. Now this is 600 watt pure sine wave on 240 volts. Also there is six ways to charge this device. You can use AC, you can use solar and you can use generator and also unlike some power banks you can actually use AC and solar at the same time to charge it to rapid charge it really really fast. Um, it's got eight outputs on it. There's also an app available for your phone so should you have an iPhone or Android there's an app available on both so you can uh, monitor this on your app that's another fantastic feature to be honest because everybody's got the phone in their hand all the time so if you oh how's it doing you want to walk over and press the button on it you can just get your phone out and just scroll up and have a look at all the all the different figures what it tells you about it on there um, also you can put 200 watts in this from the solar panel so it does allow rapid charging so should you run it flat these things will charge up really fast here's your on and off button so switch it on, as you can see it's got a nice clear display um, showing obviously we've got 100% battery because I've just charged this um, you've got an output which will show you what it's pulling on the AC side so as you can also see on the front you have your standard cigarette lighter output I mean most people call these cigarette lighters, nobody really uses them as cigarette lighters normally it's things for like uh, compressors for blowing your car tyres up stuff like that will plug into that it also has got the two small 12 volt outputs there um, and this is where you charge it at the bottom here you've got one for your solar there and here is where you connect your we'll call it a kettle plug that's where you connect your kettle plug to charge it up and you've also got a circuit breaker and then you've got another button here which switches the AC side on so you press that until it lights up and then you can plug into there it also features a torch, quite a few of them seem to come with torches on different brightnesses or flash so as most of you probably know these have LiPo batteries in them and it's a 268 watt hour battery so compared to the wattage it's probably on the low side but this thing is light this wing weighs 4 kilograms so it's easily carryable if you're going out on a bit of a hike and you want a lot of power with you to power different appliances you, you can carry this, look I'm holding it out one handed no problem 4 kilos, it's absolutely nothing they're mind blowing what they can put in these obviously it's got the inverter built in for the AC um, and also on top, as you can probably see there, it's got the wireless charging, so if your phone's got the capability, just sit your phone on, don't even need a cable. Now also, if you use the rapid charge function, this will charge to 80% in 40 minutes, so that is no time at all. Really. Yeah, the other outputs you've got on here, two USBs, which are three amp USBs, so charge your phone fast as you all know. Um, you've also got a USB-C which is a 100 watts output so you can charge USB-C items up really fast but what can we use this for? I mean for us ideally being in this van we go off grid quite a lot like I say if you've seen our previous videos you'll know we spend most weekends wild camping where there's no power and when it comes to winter time solar obviously there's not as much about we're using the heating in the van in this van we have two fridges uh, my lad has a gaming laptop as well, so if we start putting the inverter on, the um, the battery we've got will start depleting. Not anymore it won't, because we'll be able to plug his laptop into this, because it's a, a proper MSI gaming laptop. So it, it's got a big power pack for it. This will run it fine. 
absolutely fine. So you're probably saying to yourself, do I need one of these? And the answer is yes you do. And it's not just for van life, uh, off grid life. You can use this in your house, um, power it off the solar during the day, free energy at night. You can use it to power your laptop, your phone, while you're sat at the comfort of your chair. No, no extension cables for people to trip over. And you've probably all seen in the news and people talking about it, power outages. We're going to be having power outages in 2022 and the th they're on about turning the power off. What are people going to do or are at home? I mean, we'll probably be at work, so it'll probably not affect us, but with one of these you'll be sorted. You can have the internet run off this. This will, this, this will power your TV, your internet, maybe a couple of lights and charge your phones. So if there's a power outage, you can still carry on doing what you're doing. Now I'm going to run a few tests on this. We're going to plug several different items into this and we're going to see what we can power off it. And also, I've seen quite a few reviews and you know the different makes of other models are available of these obviously and we're also going to see what else we can power out of this AC side because this is this is what people buy them for that power there now just before I started this review we've just been away for the weekend with some friends and the, the weather was miserable a lot of rain very overcast you're getting literally half an amp of solar which is nothing it's not enough to power one fridge let alone two so we switch one fridge off and just run one fridge but with the lights on and the heating on, I noticed the battery was depleting. Now in this van, I did fit two volt volt system, which we, we don't really use. But I've got a Victron battery charger. And I thought, can I plug it into this to charge my leisure battery through the mains through a battery charger? And yes, you can. I don't think I've ever seen anybody else do this, but it actually charged the battery back up. So an absolute must for Zach is to be able to get his gaming time in when he's away, isn't it, mate? Yep. So he's got an MSI Titan gaming laptop. And the power supply for it is massive. So as you can see, we've got his laptop plugged in here and it's pulling 120 watts. So it uses some serious power. So when we're off grid, obviously we only limited with a bit of solar. So this will be a great addition. So obviously charging your mobile phones is another good one for this. It used virtually nothing. It's using five watts. That battery will last a long time using 5 watts. So my better half likes to keep her hair nice and straight. So she likes to use her straighteners. Now they're pulling 330 watts, 320 watts. Easily powering them. We're still at 99%. Give you a bleep and it'll be ready. There we go. There we go and then instantly. Well they're still pulling the same power. Well the power did just drop then. Yeah, there you go, power's dropping now. So we absolutely love our coffee. So we've got the mocha pot on there, and we've got a milk warmer, milk frother. And we're going to give this a bash. We've got 95% battery, and we'll switch this on to warm and throth. And we're pulling 386 watts. Perfect cup of coffee. There you go, my dear. Thank you. So that was just a few demonstrations of what you can use this Bluetti EB3A for. Now, I was quite impressed with it this weekend. Now, normally, people will know watch our channel. We're normally away um, while camping most weekends. So this would be a godsend. However, this weekend just gone, we were actually on a campsite. But we still put it through its paces and tried it out. I've actually got a solar panel as well, a 100 watt solar panel, which I plugged into this to test it out. Now, it was getting about 25 watts, but it soon put power back into it. So, yeah, we're definitely going to invest in probably a 200 watt panel to keep this baby charged up. But So, I want to thank Bluetti once again. And also, for the people that are watching this and are interested in buying one of these, the link's in the description to the Bluetti site. Now, it's coming up to Black Friday, so I'm sure they'll have a sale on, but we've also secured a bit of a discount code um, that'll be down in the description and you'll get £80 off of the checkout if you spend over a thousand pound I think it is so so I shall pop that in the description um, so when you go to the checkout to clash you if you've got any discount codes if you pop the code in what I put below you'll get another £80 off so yeah cracking bit of kit this and this will get some serious use because we'll be out every weekend in this van we'll be out all over Christmas in this van 
Um, so obviously solar will be a little bit less so I shall charge this up while we're driving, charge it up through the day at home. So as you can see from the counter there's 88% left in this. Um, I did all them tests with it this weekend and uh, we ran a few bits and it had it on the solar for about an hour. Like I say it was only getting 25 watts and it's still back up at 88%. So I am well impressed with this and I'm impressed with the weight of it as well. Really light, um, you can put it in, put it anywhere really. It's not really a big heavy weight to be carrying around because most people know when you've got these vans, um, weight's always an issue when you're going anywhere. But this is one weight you'll definitely want to take with you. So once again, I want to thank everybody who watches, likes and subscribes. If you've got anything to say about this, want to ask you any questions, if you get them down in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you see. And thanks again for watching.